South Florida is taking a page from a volunteer orchestra that teaches about 350,000 poor children music skills which alters lives and inspires hope. Hearing Miami Music Project's first El Sistema inspired music is to understand how the education and practice of classical music can be achieved. Good evening. What a wonderful opportunity and what an honor it is for me to have the opportunity to listen to the stories and ideas of these wonderful children who spoke before me. So before me, a next round of applause for them, please. My name is Aviram Brizuela, and I am the program director of the Miami Music Project, an institution that uses music as an instrument for social transformation. But what brings me here tonight is not who I am, but who I was a few years ago. In 1991, I lived in a poor neighborhood where the level of violence was so high that the sound of gunshots became part of the casual noise of the city. The same year, when I still was five, I had the opportunity to listen for the very first time in my life to a live orchestra performance. But now, this was not a regular orchestra with grown-ups and uh, bow ties and tuxedos, this fancy orchestra. No, not at all. In fact, this orchestra was made up of children like me. And they were wearing their everyday clothes. But the most important and the most impressive thing is that they were not performing at a fancy hall. They were performing right there in the middle of the street by my house. I mean, the picture says it all, right? After the concert, my father, excited as we all were, began to ask how is it that my sister and I could join a program like that? How is it that we could play in an orchestra like that? And a lady standing next to me said, well, this is an orchestra from El Sistema. And shortly after, there I was, learning how to play the double bass in one of El Sistema's children orchestras. So El Sistema, what is it that it is? El Sistema is a social program studied in Venezuela more than 35 years ago by Maestro Jose Antonio Abreu, working with the strong philosophy and ideal that the orchestra resembles the structure of a society. In this society, musicians coming from different communities can get together to find a common place in which they can create something bigger than themselves. Amazing, right? All of them are coming as one team, pursuing just one goal, the beauty of music. Today, more than 350,000 children are participating in the program, not only in Venezuela, but in hundreds of El Sistema-inspired programs all over the world, including our Miami Music Project. Sometimes, I just cannot believe that now I'm leading more than 300 children who share the same passion, excitement, and commitment that I have since I was their age. I was raised up as a musician in an environment where the level of commitment was huge, not just big, huge, meaning that the musical expectations for children orchestras were equal, if not higher, than the expectations for professional ones. So now I come as a teacher, and as I learn the stories of my students, I look through their eyes and I can find my own one. The same feelings, the same curiosity, the same fears, the same passion, the same excitement, the same commitment, the same joy. Look at them. I, I think the picture says it all. So we are discovering every day that magic happens when as individuals we are coming to create or to work for a common goal. When you really get to feel the power of the common sound, you really understand the meaning of common success. The group of children that I'm about to introduce tonight are the leaders of the many orchestras of the Miami Music Project. Each one of them, as leaders, have two roles. The first one, as musicians, 
They are required to come with a lot of passion, commitment, and discipline to their everyday activities. But as mentors, as mentors, they are responsible for teaching and coaching their younger peers. What's the end result? The end result is something beyond music. For the case of the Miami Music Project, we have a population in which most of our participants are sons or daughters of immigrants like me, but all of them are playing as Miamians. So all of them are playing as equals. So my question for you will be, what's the future of our society if we are already promoting that our children are playing as one team, knowing each other, understanding each other, but the most important thing, aware, aware of the existence of each other. I can tell you, children, you tap dancers over there, your power is endless, as you are a seed that will grow at home, spreading your values to your parents, to your families, making already a big impact in your community. We are so used to the phrase, the child of today is the man of tomorrow. Come on. The fact is that these children are ready, excited, and most important, capable of doing something amazing. Not tomorrow, but today, right here and right now. And that's why I feel so passionate and so proud of introducing you tonight to the leaders of the Miami Music Project.
the leaders of the Miami Music Project. And talking about leaders, I'm going to take this chance to introduce two of the members of the ensemble. The first one is truly a leader. He's David Lair, and he's going to join us today. He's coming from Live School of Music, and he's going to join us today with the piano for the next piece. Thank you for being with us. And the second leader is one of the members of the ensemble. How old are you, Santi? 16? He's 16 years old. And I'm going to beg him to come and conduct the ensemble for an arrangement of a lullaby, a Latin lullaby that some of you are going to recognize called Los Pollitos Dicen. I'm very proud of this guy. He's an amazing talent right here, growing up in this city, representing our children. So go ahead. The ensemble is yours. <laughs> 